Hey, what's going on? It's Yen. Today I got some pretty cool, interesting, maybe a little gross photography ideas for you. And that is mycelium and mold. Everything you need is go into any market, buy any kind of mushroom, rip it into two pieces, take a little bit of tissue of the middle of the mushroom and put it into a petri or a wet cardboard. Then you just need to wait for two or three days and we have everything we need for our photography we're gonna do today. Let's do it. One thing which might be very important for you is that when you don't have any petri dishes and you don't want to buy a plate like this, you can just leave it open. But then I'd recommend to work with a FFP2 mask or just go outside to not risk any health issues. To get a lot of different interesting subjects for your macro image, I'd recommend to use several tiny parts of the mushroom, put it on the petri or the wet cardboard and then we need to cover it to keep the humidity high. In the petri it's no problem because it's already covered. When you use the wet cardboard I'd recommend to use a glass or an empty marmalade and this will support the mycelium and probably also the mold to grow which we then take the images of. Let's talk about the gear and the lighting to get the perfect image because our subject is so small I'd recommend to use the highest magnification macro lens macro setup you own at extension tube do whatever you can to higher the magnification just because those small strains are so thin and microscopic to get yeah, the detail out of the image. And then the lighting is also very important. I use just this small simple zoom LED torch and not my flash diffuser which I normally use in macro photography because I wanted to have this high contrast on the image. And therefore we have to play with the angle and use side light or light from the bottom. And this creates this nice contrast. Then I've just pulled the blacks in Lightroom a little down and there we have it. Even though I normally try to avoid mold because I've just started to grow mushrooms at home, it is a lot of fun because you never know what you can get, what shapes, what colors. You can see how the mycelium gets taken over by the mold and the other way around. It's just very interesting what's going on on this microscopic world. I really hope that you liked my first results and I hope that I could give you a little bit of inspiration to go out and maybe try something completely new, which is yeah, kind of unusual, but also very interesting because it's just something which you normally cannot see with your eyes. If you enjoyed my idea, I really appreciate a like and a comment and hopefully see you in the next video.